All right, guys, this was a huge trip to Trader Joe's for me. And so I made this video so you can see what it is that I buy when I go to Trader Joe's and maybe why I buy it. So I'm going to go through my bags that, that I have, which is like, this is the biggest trip I've taken ever, I think. Um, because I don't get everything there, obviously, but there is a lot of um, things that I do get there that's totally worth it. Um, one thing I don't normally get there, but because I'm out, is their broccoli. Um, so anyway, I was just out of broccoli and I can't be without broccoli because I eat it all the time. So there you go. But what Trader Joe's is good for is all of these kind of side dishes of anything. They have broccoli, they have potatoes, they have carrots, they have all kinds of things. Another staple that I eat like all the time is their turkey burgers. Okay. And I don't get like the flavory kind. There's like a, um, like a chili lime or something like that. And I didn't care for it. I just get the plain ones and I season them how I want to. You get four in a package and they're like 329. That's a no-brainer, and they're super good. They're the only turkey burger I know that stays juicy and like good on the grill and isn't all dry. Okay, so I have four boxes of those. <laughs> I eat a lot. Um, my husband makes smoothies every morning. You can get the really good berries for the same price as at the regular grocery store like Walmart or whatever. Um, I love to refill these, so I get the huge sparkling waters for when I'm usually running the kids around and I've already had a soda for the day or whatever, so I can have something bubbly for that. Okay, bag one. Did I mention that I totally went in my Christmas jammies? That's a whole nother story how I ended up there in my jammies, but anyhow. So my husband's favorite holiday thing that they carry are these little mini dark chocolate covered shortbread like cookies. And they are pretty amazing, I'm not gonna lie. But they're expensive in the calorie department. Um, these are way cheaper there. So you can get little tortellinis, boil those up for a side dish. Um, yeah, it's just a good little side dish. Lots of that kind of stuff. Lots of like noodles and raviolis and lobster ravioli and like all these things. And they're like three fifty. It's not even anything more, if not less, than the regular grocery store. Um, their face and body oil is the bomb. So I got this like peppermint mask that we're gonna have in my stocking. And then I got some cleansing pads. These are great. They have like tea tree oil and stuff in them. Great place for string cheese that uses good milk, not nasty milk. Um, I was out of lunch meat, so I bought some. This is really good, but I feel like the package is really small for the price, but I was kind of desperate tonight anyway. So I normally wouldn't get that there. That's, that's a Walmart item, so yeah. And then I'm trying this for the kids. There is a shampoo and conditioner that is tea tree tingle so it's got peppermint tea tree eucalyptus and botanicals it smelled really good and it's not filled with a bunch of um chemicals so i got that for the kids shower to see if, if they would enjoy that okay bag two is done because here is my second bottle of sparkle water all right oh yeah so bear bells protein bars they're kind of just perfect for me because I have a really hard time adding fat to things. I'm not good at adding fat to anything when I cook. I don't know, it's just my genre. We don't add fat to things, so I'm starting to learn. I have to add fat. Um, and so they have 10 grams of fat. And we all know that I've said like a thousand times, like let's not supplement with bars and other garbage. So guys, these are literally um, something i eat after i work out at the gym when i need some carbs i need some protein and a little bit of fat just to get me to a time frame when i can eat my post-workout meal because sometimes i'm running kids to gymnastics and picking up from school so that's a pinch hit item but it is a good item um i love falafel with a little bit of greek yogurt and some um a little bit of ranch seasoning in a tortilla this is the bomb these are the bomb 
throw them in your air fryer. You can make anything with them. I throw them on noodles for the boys. I also just put them in a tortilla and I'll have like a meatballs wrap kind of thing with cheese. These are my post-workout gummies. <laughs> They're the sour gummy turtles. And then this will run out and it is the bomb. It is the oat milk eggnog. It has a less carbs than the light eggnog. So it tastes almost identical and um, pretty much saves you like four carbs a serving. So I have like four of those. They're good until, because they're an oat beverage and not dairy, they're good until like the 21st of February. And I've learned my lesson that if you do not get those seasonal things, like they will be gone. Um, my husband loves coconut shrimp. So we got him his, and we'll put that over rice and whatever, and some veggies. More turkey meatballs. Bag three. All right. This is where the good stuff is too. Uh, I probably don't plan on having too much of this, but I had to try it. Again, they're very well known for their seasonal things. And if you could smell, this package is ridiculous. Maple streusel bread, and it has like icing on it. it. Smells and looks amazing. And because I'm on a build program, you guys see if you want to build muscle, you get all these bonuses. You get to eat like all this fat and all these carbs. So um, I know that's probably like too outside of most everybody's program, but it will fit if you just limit yourself to one slice, you don't get nuts, and maybe it's even a quick breakfast item for somebody who's not into breakfast at all. But this, I cannot live without this. Okay, I cannot wait for steamed rice when I'm in a hurry and I need to make something fast. So those bowls that I make, um, sometimes I'll throw it in my quesadillas that you see all the time. So this is a lifesaver. It's ridiculously expensive for rice because what's rice like a couple pennies to make a batch whereas this is like 2.99 so it's like a dollar a thing of rice but i'm telling you it saves my life because it's just popping in the microwave for like two and a half minutes and you have like this huge serving of rice so mm, totally worth having on hand is it how you should like prep your rice all the time probably not just fiscally speaking, but um, do you need it so that you have it on the ready for when you just got to pack lunch for the next day or something like that? 100%. Okay, now, I don't buy my hamburger anywhere else now. So this is 85.15, and I mean, it's all your normal meat labels and everything, but I am telling you, man, grass-fed Angus beef, it's... I want to say five forty nine for the for the one pound package. Um, it's the bomb. It's the only hamburger Zali on the grill, and I just make it my season it myself, and it is so good. It's tasty. It's not even like you buy meat at Walmart; it doesn't even taste the same. Like it's so good. More berries for my husband's shakes in the morning that he loves, and then one more thing i got like three things of these brown rices you guys i'm telling you you cannot they're super cool it's probably the most important thing here comes the fam bam from gymnastics rolling in the door say hi to the people so they just look like this you literally just in a steamable bag throw it in the microwave and you're good to go two and a half minutes so super easy and if you have that protein ready to go then you can make your bowl really fast so anyway that's my trader joe's haul maybe there's something you guys like at trader joe's share that below and let me know what those items are but this is what i got